Good evening. It is precisely 23.06 p.m. Uh, and it's the 14th of July. And do you know what? I decided, you know, I've got a week off work. Um, petrol's cheap at the moment. And most importantly of all, because of COVID, um, I can't really do a holiday this year. Usually most summers I would go away to... You know, last year when I went to Barcelona, the year before that, I usually went to Italy or somewhere. I'm always busy traveling with work. So this year, um, I thought, why not do a bit of a staycation? Um, I am a massive uh, fan of Father Ted, as uh, I'm sure many people are, a lot of my friends know I am. And I've always wanted to see the parochial house from Father Ted. It's in County Clare, uh, specifically, um, what is the name of the place? Glen Quinn, there you go, Glen Quinn, somewhere in County Clare. Anyway, um, I thought, you know what, um, I've got a bit of time, why not go down and see it and document everything I do along the way. And more, intru more interestingly, I should say, once I was sort of looking at Google Maps and seeing, you know, uh, seeing distances and, and looking up where I could go, I noticed that on the way, uh, another thing I would quite like to see is the Barack Obama Plaza and the Barack Obama homestead, basically his ancestral home. He came to visit um, a town called Moneygall in 2011. And I just think it will be quite interesting to see along the way. So I'm going to do it a uh, day after tomorrow. Um, the reason I picked Thursday is because the weather is supposed to be, well, the only day it's not raining in County Clare. Uh, it's going to be cloudy, but... I thought it would make a good a good trip, and um, I think also if I've got time, I will go to see the Cliffs of Moher as well. If that's how it's pronounced, I apologize if it's not. Um, if I have time, because I think that would also, I mean, it's close to the Father's Head House, it's in County Clare. Why not see it when I'm there? Right? So, um, if I look at Google, I'm going to bring this up. Google Maps is telling me that okay, where I am now currently in Belfast. It will take me th approximately three hours and 11 minutes, 195 miles, to get to the Barack Obama Plaza in Offaly, uh, where I'll probably, you know, I'll go and take a look at the house, I'll get a bite to eat in the, in the plaza, and, you know, and, and stretch the legs for a bit, I suppose. And then from, from that moment, I will leave to the Father Ted House in Glenquin, County Clare. Uh, that will be another one hour, 29 minutes approximately, and 123 kilometers. So this will be the first time I've ever driven, you know, this length. I've never really driven across the country in Ireland. I've lived in this country for so many years. I've, oh, so many years. I've lived here, I've lived in Ireland since birth, uh, 27 years, which is quite a scary thought. Um, and you know what? Um, I've probably been more places abroad than I have been in Ireland, so this is a really good chance to do a bit of a staycation. Let's just drive around and see what happens, and I will document everything that does. And uh, if it goes well, it goes well. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But let's, uh, that's life. Let's just let's just go with it, and I will uh, I will post the footage when it's ready. Well, good morning. It's just gone after 5.17. Um, I've just pulled in for petrol uh, and I'm going to begin my big voyage to start off at the Barack Obama Plaza, then eventually go on to uh, the Father Ted House and then, if I've got time, I will go on to the Cliffs of Moher as well. Um, it's quite an overcast, cloudy morning. That's uh, quite usual and compar compared to... Um, Quite usual to what we usually get in Northern Ireland, to be honest. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna switch the phone. Um, I'm just filming this on my phone at the moment. I'm gonna switch it off uh, when I begin driving because it's really just straight motorway from Belfast to Dublin, more or less, and then um, turn off to go to, to Moneygall. So, it'll take about three hours from here. So, um, yeah, I will see you in a while. Well, uh, three hours later and I've made it to uh, Money Goal. I am in the um, upstairs just of the Barack Obama Plaza. I just stopped for a little coffee. And um, they actually built this plaza as a, you know, a little tourist 
attraction. Um, you know, the tourism started piling in after Barack Obama visited here in 2011 to visit his ancestral home, which I'll be walking to later. It's just down the road. But upstairs, they built in the in the plaza. It's kind of a bit like an apple green sort of a, a petrol station rest stop kind of thing. And um, but upstairs, they built this kind of museum. Um, but you know. Honoring his visit, and as well as Ireland's links with America. So if I just uh, if I just show you, so as you can see here, Barack Obama, Money Gall is his official ancestral home, um, and they've got the um, statue of Barack, his bust, right here. Um, there's some other uh, nice little information about. Money goal and its links to the United States. Um, this is the picture of the actual house. Um, this is Barack Obama's actual homestead, which will be uh, cool to see. I'm going to go and see that later. Um, um, obviously, Ireland has a big link with um, John F. Kennedy as well, so they've brought um, his bust as well, which is quite cool. Um, it's quite cool to see. Um, and uh, this is kind of the famous line that he delivered um, when he came to Ireland. Um, I think he actually discovered he had an Irish background in sort of 2007, and then finally he came here in 2011. So that was pretty cool. Again, we've got good old Bill and Ronald Reagan. I wonder will they exist in uh, President Trump? Uh, will his face ever get up here? <laughs> And then, uh, obviously, the nice uh, Irish and American flags together, which is quite cool. Oh, actually, what's this little vase thing? It looks interesting. The gathering bowl. Okay. Oh, it's presented to the president. Okay. Filled with shamrocks. Oh, that's quite interesting. So, yeah, um, I would definitely recommend uh, coming and checking this place out. It's cool. It's a cool little link to the, the history between uh, Ireland and America. So this is the actual ancestral home of the 44th President of the United States, Barack Obama. This is uh, phenomenal to see this. Um, as I said, he came here 23rd of May 2011, as you can see. And uh, I think normally this house is actually open for tourists, but uh, I think it's closed at the moment due to the uh, the pandemic obviously and it's, uh, it's still quite early in the morning here but uh, as you can see also um, yeah, the little plaque um, commemorating his, his visit here in 2011 this is quite cool to see okay the, the next thing I wanted to show you was this place it's a place called Ollie Hayes pub um, this is where Barack actually came in 2011 obviously on the same trip uh, but this is where he had uh, a pint of Guinness he sampled it a uh, famous line he said there you guys keeping all the best stuff um, obviously the best Guinness in the world is Ireland I can confirm that um, and that's actually him coming out of the pub uh, it's quite cool to see that he's actually here. It's a shame again, I'm quite early, so there's no chance to go inside. But obviously, um, apparently the, the, the glasses that him and Michelle uh, Obama drank out of are actually um, behind the bar. They're kind of in a little display cabinet, but maybe next time I'll get to see that. But yeah, just wanted to show this to you. It's pretty cool. Ollie Hayes. finally made it. This is the parochial house from Father Ted. It's where they filmed it uh, back in 1985. And uh, it just feels so surreal to be here. It's, it's, it's crazy. It, just, it still just reminds you what it was like in the show. It's just phenomenal. Phenomenal. It's actually a scorching day. It's actually beautiful. Really, really pretty beautiful. Um, there's a nice woman from Dublin there who actually took my photo for me. And, um, I think it's just phenomenal. It's a really beautiful countryside, not just the house, but everything else. It's just a beautiful part of the world. So um, I would recommend if you're ever here, um, if you're ever in Ireland, I mean, this is, especially if you're a Father Ted fan, it's an absolute must see. It is phenomenal. Thank you. And the final.
final port of call of my visit is here, the Clubs and Moor. It's just a phenomenal, phenomenal scenery. Um, these clubs were used in a number of movies. Uh, one of the most well known ones was uh, Harry Potter. Sorry, I had to think about that. Uh, you see the scenery here, the landscape is just stunning. Well, um, I've just got back home. As you can probably tell, I'm exhausted. I look terrible. I I'm just very tired. <laughs> my um, the hair's all over the place. I'm on shaven. Everything's kind of ugh. But anyway, um, do you know what? That trip was fantastic today. Um, those three things, specific things: the Barack Obama thing, the Father Ted House, and the Cliffs of Moher. Three absolute must see. Okay, so if you're either native to Ireland and you haven't really explored the country before like I haven't really this is my first time really doing it um, or if you're coming over from America or you know different parts of the world different parts of Europe those are three things to definitely put in your list okay um, but the mistake I made today and I've really learned from this mistake um, I really tried to cram too much in in one day so and I didn't really plan to stay down in you know County Clare, um, Galway, sort of that part of the world where I could have stayed. Um, I just wanted to really drive, get as much as I could crammed into one day and drive back again. The issue I found with that is that I ended up driving 500 miles today, I think, and I ended up going through 15 counties of Ireland, which was, you know, it's crazy. I mean, I started off in... See if I can, let's see if I can name all 15 that I drove through today. Okay, so I started off in Antrim, where I live, so um, County Antrim in Belfast. Drove through to County Down, into Louth, then Dublin, Kildare, uh, Leash, Offaly, Tipperary, Limerick, County Clare. Okay, so that was getting there, and then on the way home, I drove through Galway, Meath, and we, Meath or Westmeath, I don't know, but anyway, one of them, uh, Cavan, Monaghan, and Armagh, there you go, so there's all 15, 15 counties in a day, um, I have to say, now, Tipperary, driving through Tipperary, sort of that, that's, you know, you, I mean, it's, Pretty much a lot of motorway in Ireland, okay, so unless you take the really scenic country roads, which I wouldn't uh, recommend unless you're a really skilled driver and know these Irish roads very well. Um, but pretty much in the motorway, Tipperary had the most beautiful, you know, uh, scenery from, you know, it was nice to stretch a road I was on during the day. Um, and one interesting story, um, I have to say, that came out of uh, being a money gull. Um, the Barack Obama town is that 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 Ollie Hayes pub that I uh, that I showed you and I spoke about. Um, I spoke to a local when I was there, just a local guy. The people are so friendly in in that little village. I mean, three or four people today just came up and spoke to me, just you know, how you doing, asking where I was from, you know, what I, what I was doing and everything. So it was very nice. But this particular guy. Um, He's been, you know, he's been living in money golf for his life. And he basically said that this pub, uh, before the whole Obama thing started, the guy who owns the pub was actually going to close it. Um, I think it was, I don't know if it was going out of business. He didn't really say what it was, but he says he was just planning to, to, to just shut the thing down. And then, obviously, Barack came, had the Guinness, you know, became a very iconic thing shown all over the world. And, you know, it's now become one of the most famous pubs in the world. And, um, you know, so it, it, I think it's a fantastic story that something that was potentially going out of business um, has now been rescued because of this one defining moment, you know, in history. Um, 
And um, and now that the the funny thing is that this this guy I, w- I was speaking to again today, he he basically said that, you know, he goes. He says he was a very keen scuba diver, which is uh, unusual, but fair play to him. But anyway, he says he scuba dives all over the world. He's done it in Egypt. He's done it in America. He's done it in Indonesia. And, you know, a lot of these people, um, I've experienced it myself, even, you know, if, if you say you're from Ireland, a lot of people in different countries, they don't really understand, you know, until you mention sort of England or, or whatever, they don't really pick up on it, which is quite surprising, really, because Ireland's kind of a cool country. Um, but in a way, he, he mentioned that Ireland, he was in uh, Indonesia, um, went a bit off track there, and he basically said to this guy, I'm from Ireland, and the guy, okay, oh, Ireland, Ireland, yeah, I think I've heard of it. And then he said, uh, I'm from a town specifically called Money Gall. And he goes, oh, Obama, Obama, Obama. So uh, Money Gall has now become the Obama village. So uh, definitely check it out. And go, when you're there, go to Ollie Hayes Pub and get some Guinness because go and support it. Support a local local town. Check out the plaza, yes, when you're there. But the village itself, um, beautiful little village. And... Um, yeah, it needs your support. Go and go and go and support it. Go and see the house. Go and buy a Guinness in the pub when things obviously pick up again and, and pubs um, are allowed to be a bit, operate a bit more normally. And anyway, sorry, I went totally off topic there. Um, the lessons from this trip were: yes, there are some amazing things to see in Ireland, but for the love of God, plan it over a few days. Don't do what I did and cram it all into one day. But uh, on that note, I am going to go and have a beer and sign off. Listen, this is my first actual sort of travel blog review sort of thing. If there are any other parts of Ireland you want me to go and visit, uh, you know, comments, put it in the comments. I'd be very happy to uh, to go and do a review or go and, you know, um, go and see something that um in advance maybe if you're planning a trip to ireland or something you want to see you want a better idea of something um i can go and take my car and, and take a look at it for you and um more importantly if you've enjoyed it i may just be rambling on i may be boring but um if you enjoy my video like and subscribe the old the usual and uh if you didn't then um yeah if you didn't you didn't <laughs> Um, but yeah, thank you. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And I don't be too mean. It is my first travel review thing. So thanks.